Hello and welcome to this operating video of an RPS mobile test pump. I'm going to tell, show and tell in a couple of steps how this pump operates and works. This video is split up in a couple of steps. First I'm going to tell you uh, the pre-job check, the general information, then we're going to talk about the USB RCR, then we're going to operate the unit, perform a pressure test, and last but not least, we're going to generate a certificate from the RCR software. Next to the instruction video, it is advised to read the user manual. This user manual can be provided with every unit. This is the RPS power pack, a unit with an air-operated high-pressure pump. This means that with an air pressure of 0 to 7 bar, a hydraulic pressure will be realized. To generate this hydraulic pressure, a compressed air line, a water line and the tank needs to be filled of this unit. This unit can generate a pressure up to 5000 bar. So hydraulic gauges and electronic gauges are up to 5000 bar as well. Finally, on this RPS we have a pressure recorder up to 4000 bar. Next, we have a USB RCR installed, which is connected to the laptop through a USB cable. To set up the RCR USB, the software side, we need to go to the new open tab first, once we've opened up the software. And then we go to the 5000 bar default oil and gas in this case. Then next, we have the channel set up and we can select the channel from the top and basically put it in the bottom of the screen. So in this case, we have uh, the transducer with this number installed. Over here, we can change colors of the lines ultimately in the recording screen and set up the sample intervals, etc., etc. Next tab is the customer information, test object information, and additional information that can be filled in by the pressure tester. All of this information on the left hand side will be shown on the test report ultimately. The next screen is the recording screen. This is what we show during the pressure test. On the, on the right hand side you see the start button and when it turns red it starts recording. When we hit the stop button, it turns green again, and we've recorded this little section. Once pressure testing is done, we can then generate a certificate and save it as a PDF or print it out on a piece of paper. The test outlet is situated at the back side of the RCR and comes with an autoclave fitting where the hose can be connected to the test object. Next, we're going to perform the hydrostatic test, but before you start, a risk assessment should be done and mitigation measures should be in place. This should be according to your location standards. Before we start, we're going to hit the start button on the USB recording on the laptop. Then we're going to make sure that the right recorder chart is installed and that the recorder is ticking. Next, we're going to make sure that the bleed valve is open and the isolation valve is open. Next, we're gonna make sure that the bleed valve is open and the air pressure is switched on to the pump. Next, we're gonna check if there's water in there or if the direct feed is connected. Make sure that the pump is working. We're gonna pump and circulate through the bleed line. Lead line is open. So now we're going to connect the test object. In this case, we plugged off the line, so we're going to just pretend as if we had a test object. Next, we're going to make sure that the bleed line is closed and the isolation valve is opened. Now we are ready to pressure up the test object.
we have reached 2000 bars. Next, we can close the isolation valve, but in this case, we have a pressure transducer connected, so we cannot close the isolation valve, otherwise we wouldn't see anything on the laptop. It's a good practice to dial back the pressure of the pump, so nothing can happen during the test. Then we'll switch off the air to the pump. When the time is reached of the pressure test, we can bleed by opening the bleed valve. Until the pressure is zero and everything is safe again. Next, we're going to generate a certificate. First, we need to stop recording. Then you will see the time and the delta pressures in the bottom of the screen. Before you generate a certificate, you can then play around with the screen itself and focus on different areas. Once you have the right picture, you go to the left-hand side of the screen and hit Save and Print. A certificate will show on the left-hand side of the screen and can be generated as a PDF. In this case, we put test, and we'll save it on the desktop. When I open it up, I can make it visible, and this is what the report looks like.